we have customer satisfaction or client satisfaction, which is equal to or directly proportional to the perception and inversely proportional to expectation. Good day, everyone. You're watching Makoga Enterprises. Today's lesson is going to be on customer satisfaction. This is going to give us a guide or a clue if the services or the product that we have rendering to our customer or to our clients, are they happy or not? This is very important. So while we have our services, giving them to our customer or to our client, we have to ensure that they are happy with the product or the services which we've given or rendered to them. This is very important as far as business is concerned. And when you're working in an establishment or probably carry out a project, you're working as a project manager, you should be able to know if the service which you render to the client or to the customer, they are happy with the service or not. This is going to have an impact to play as far as the growth of that company is concerned. This is very important. Okay, we are going to, are going to drive us through to a formula which is very important, which is the perception and expectation. So this key, this, the Washington Macaulay Enterprises, please do like, share, subscribe, and keep sharing, as well as turn on the notification button so that when anytime we upload a new video, you're going to be notified. And thanks for watching and keep watching. So these key different parameters we are going to discuss on. And also we are going to understand exactly what are these two different um, parameters. We have customer satisfaction or client satisfaction, which is equal to or directly proportional to the perception and inversely proportional to expectation. So if we have customer satisfaction or client satisfaction equal to perception over the expectation. So perception, I'll define what is perception, which is a conscious understanding of something. So if we understand something very well, which is based on the specification, so supposing we have a project we are carrying out and we have um, our designs which are going to be living from the client coming to the contractor, which will be an IFC. So this IFC should be understood by the contractor and then produce another set of designs now, which will be a shop drawing. So as such now, they are going to use that now to carry out the different installation on site. So if we are preparing all that, it means we understand what the customer needs from us. And then we go through the different specification as well to ensure that we meet to the different requirements of the project. So when we understand all that, which is the perception part of it. So when we understand everything that the customer needs or what the client needs of us, this is what they want us to deliver to them, which is the, the perception. So customer satisfaction now is directly proportional to perception. So if you understand what the client or customer needs and you give it based on the requirement, that means you have satisfied the customer. But there's this other factor, which is inversely proportional to the, which is inversely proportional to customer satisfaction, which is the expectation. So when we talk of expectation now, we start talking of different key items. So we start talking of cost, we start talking of time, and then we start talking of scope. So when we talk of scope, scope here now will guide us to know the limit of what we need to give to the customer or to the client. We don't need to move out of bounds. So we focus on the limit or on that particular work that need to be done and given to the customer or to the client. So when we talk of the cost, the cost now will be how much we need in order to carry out that job or how much the client or the customer needs to purchase the service or the product from us. And then we talk of the time. The time frame now, for example, if we talk of a project, if you're carrying out a project, you need to make a schedule that this project needs to be completed at this time. And if you complete less than that time, it means you've satisfied or increased the satisfaction of the customer or to the client. 
is very important for us to understand. So while we are driving our projects, or probably you have a service or goods or service you want to give to the customer or to the client, we know exactly if we are satisfying them or not, or we are meeting to the satisfaction, or we've increased or reduced the satisfaction. So we know exactly how to play with these different parameters. It's very important. So we talk of the scope, we talk of the time, we talk of the cost, and then we talk of quality. So quality now is a perception, understanding what the customer needs. You give it to them based on the, the requirement. You satisfy them directly. So these other factors now, which is expectation. So the customer or the client is expecting us to give this product at this particular time, is expecting us to give this product at this particular cost. So we should not move above budget. We should not move uh, uh, more than the budget or the required budget that the project is supposed to be completed. This will also temper with the satisfaction or the happiness of the customer or the client. And then we also look at the time frame when we are supposed to deliver this cost, this product or the service to our customer is very important. So um, this is just to give us a guide and also to understand exactly what is customer satisfaction when we are playing around with our customers or our client. We know if they are happy or not. We know if they are satisfied with our product or with the service which we are deliver, delivering to, to them. It's very important. This is just a guide. And also, this is just um, an insight. So we get to understand what is customer satisfaction. Till then, you're watching Makoke Enterprises.